Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be continuing our journey through the game of Stray, as a lot of you really like this playthrough so far. If you missed the first two videos in this series, feel free to check out those videos first. Now without further ado, let's get back into the game. Now I kind of remember a little bit of what we were doing, but I kind of... What do we have to do again? Only two to go. Oh, that's right, we had to find the notebook. Should be able to see them from the rooftops. Look for an outsider's logo. Okay, that's right, because we had to look for the notebooks. All right, so we need... I remember we were trying to figure out where to go. Is that the outsider's logo up there? Do we have to go to that one? That might be the next one we have to go to. Our little friend is still as sprightly as always. Oh, okay, so we can get in through... Okay, that is not where I want to go. Translate. Ventilation power supply. Oh, so if I take this out. Perfect. Now I can get through. Hello? Oh, let me get some water. I just love how you can just drink whenever. All right, so we gotta find another notebook. Gotta be one in here, right? Oh. Oh! Okay, so that's a way out, but we don't really need that, do we? Oh, wait! Oh! It was right here the whole time! Alright, well that's fair. Nice work, another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named... Z I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. Spears, except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in the city wasn't hard enough, let's find the other notebooks. Okay. Well, now that I know what I gotta do. I wonder if the Zerks are those little uh, parasite things that we keep running into that keep trying to come after us. So, is there like a way I can tell which ones I've done and which ones I haven't done? Here. Yeah. We never did figure out the library one, did we? I think that's the one we were missing. Because we did that one. We did that one. Uh, is this the one? Yeah, this is the library. Yeah, I did that. Hmm. There's gotta be something. Gotta be something I'm missing here, right? It's gotta be in this central location. I know I'm not crazy. I have to be... There's gotta be... Oh! What the... Oh! Uh, it was behind this set of... Th oh. Okay, now I can use the keys. Aha! Bingo! Alright, now we have all four books. Perfect. It's about damn time. When name docked, after weeks of research, we combined the spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. With this, we should be able of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might at least test under real conditions. Oh, there's also a note in this book. It says, I found the design flaw in the transceiver, but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If we can communicate with the upper levels, it could be our way up. Let's show him what we found. Okay, so I gotta go back to Momo. I do remember Momo. Alright, I think Momo has... Yeah, he was in the place with the big neon sign. I remember that much. <laughs> yep. Momo, we are back, my good sir. Hey, little cat, are you still looking for those useless notebooks? Um, about that. Oh, you found Clementine's note. She was really brave, you know, the most fearless person I've ever met. Uh, that's Zabalter's notebook. I never quite understood what he was talking about most of the time, but he was very wise. And then we have Doc's notebook. Wait, you actually found all my friend's notebooks? Yeah. Oh, what's that note? The transceiver can be repaired? This is incredible! That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine, Zabalter, Doc, I'm sorry I doubted our cause. I promise you I'll find a way to reach the surface. Thank you. We might be able to find you a way up. Now let's fix this piece of junk receiver. 
Sure, what do you need me to do? Can I, do I just sit there and be cute? And voila! It works! Come with me. Okay. Up there, see that building? High above the others? If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, it should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there is any way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Okay. I'm guessing that's the tower he's talking about? Alright, I'm guessing that is the tower he's talking about. And I am guessing that the Zerks are those strange little parasitic things that we keep finding everywhere. The rooftops. Oh yeah, there they are. Look at them. Look at those little buggers. Uh, it looks like we just kind of have to go, right? Okay, we're going to go this way. Hip. Oh, I see. I want to lure them away from me. Hip. Aha, you guys can't climb. Okay, that's good to know. This definitely makes the whole place look a lot like more destroyed. Hello, little friends. Not really friends. Lol. Yeah! Ha ha! Oh, that's disgusting. Don't like these things at all. I really don't want to get, like, caught off guard by them. So now we're getting into the actual, like, tense situations, I'm guessing. Remember. Oh, another memory. The city is full of neon. It wasn't always this way. There used to be strict energy caps, especially in the slums. The people couldn't handle the constant darkness. One day, someone lit up rainbow lamps, neon signs all over their house. That person was taken away and never seen again. But people saw hope, and not long after, everyone startled, or everyone started putting lots of lights in their homes. There was nothing the oppressors could do. It was a way for people to see colors again, like in the outside. I think it helped. Okay, see memories of the outside. What does that mean? Is this not the way I'm supposed to go? Oh, looks like I'm going up. Aha! Uh... Oh! Interesting, okay. I, I, I'm down a clown. Looks like I gotta push this thing? Indeed. Oh man, this is one, uh, one very ballsy cat, I have to say. I guess just down, right? And then over. Are there any Zerks in here? Oh. Oh, that's not what I want. Oh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. I see. Aha! You can't get me now. Oh man, those things are... Ugh, I don't like those things at all. I have a I have a thing with like tiny little things that jump at you. Like if anybody's ever played Half Life and you know about the head crabs, you know what I'm talking about. Those things just freak me out. Hit. So there's some kind of like look at this. It's some kind of like plague or sickness or something. Something organic is in here. Maybe that's why they cordoned it off. Maybe they don't want the Zerks to get out for whatever reason. Where to from here? Oh, up. Oh, I see. Hello? 
guessing there's gonna be a lot of these little guys around here. Oh yeah, okay. I need to think about this. Where do I need, it looks like I need to go over there to the right. It's gonna make a run for it. Yay! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, because now they're going to go over here. Gives me plenty of time to run over here. Excellent. Oh, man. I really don't like the design of these things. I mean, I like them because they're, they're doing a good job of being disgusting looking. I don't like them just because I don't like that type of design, if that makes any sense. Okay, looks like I got more stuff to do here. Can I go over here? Okay, it looks like I need to somehow hack that door. Looks like I need to somehow hack that door. Can I hack it from here? Oh, you guys are stuck. Oh, I think I know what I gotta do. I think I gotta just... Un I think I gotta let them out and then just make a run for it. And running! Okay, now I'm- now I'm safe. Because now they can't get to me, right? Oh, I think I see what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, I see what I'm supposed to do. I'm not supposed to roll it this way, I'm supposed to roll it the other way. Yes. Aha, I got away from yous. What do I do here? Get away from me. Up oh, and up we go. Okay. And up we go here. And up we go here. Man, this is a really agile cat. Okay, I don't see anything over here. There's some kind of lever? Okay, elevator coming down. Oh, but that's not what I like to see. Oh, do, is it an endurance run now? Eh, get away from me! Get away from me! Oh, I have to lap them. Okay. Okay, I have to run laps around them. That's what I gotta do. Oh, okay, they can fall. That's good. More of them are coming. That's not good. All right, one more lap and I should be good to get out of here. Ah, no, more is coming, more coming, more coming. Okay, we're good. Get us out of here. Okay. Oh, I really don't like these things at all. Really can confirm, don't like these little guys. Oh, that's, woo. Yeah, uh, can definitely say that those, those guys aren't pleasant. Not pleasant at all. Can confirm that. Yeah, those things have to be, would have like caused this city to become just overrun with yuck. Let me guess, I gotta go up and over. There we go. Okay, well, this is the tower that he was telling me about. So. Gotta get somehow up there. Oh wait, can I just... 
There we go. I'm guessing we're calling to the outside world, I guess? Looks like there's multiple lifts. Oh, we get to go for another bucket ride. Look, the view. It's beautiful from here. I don't know if I would use that as the term. I remember now, the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Shelter from what? Those look like stars, but they're only lights making the hermetic roof ceiling off the city. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. Well, I did pretty fine out there. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. And my promise wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open this city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we have connected the transmitter, we should be able to get help. Alright, fair enough. We... Oh wow, we're going over top of everything that we just ran over. Oh. Momo, we're back. The slums part two. Where is he? Look, a note. A little outsider, if you're reading this, then that means you're still alive. Excellent. Took some equipment to the bar to take advantage of the antenna. Come meet me there. I've locked the window, but the code to open is quite simple. It is... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that seems very simple. Be careful. It is case sensitive. <laughs> See you at the bar. That must be the code for the window near the entrance. Let's go. Oh, oh, so you, you understand the code. Here's a lock for the window. The code was... Was it an O or was it a zero? Well, I'm really glad he remembered that because there is no way I would have remembered that at all. Where's the bar? Uh, can you give me any insight as to where the bar is? I don't know where the bar is. Let me get back onto the ground surface. Maybe I can see it from the ground. Oh, there he is. Hey, little furball. I'm here. I managed to get a signal. Okay. Hello. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Aww. Let me see if I can get this thing working. Okay. Hello, can anyone hear me? Hello, yes, we can hear you. We are from the slums. We're looking for a way out and... Wait, is that you about... Z uh, pff, I'm sorry. Momo! I, I can't believe it. I'm so happy to hear your voice. I'm just gonna call him Z. I'm so happy to hear your voice, Z. Where are you? Are the others okay? Yes, we are safe. We found a way up. That's my static. Hello, do you still hear me? You have to go through the sewers to reach us. Very dangerous. Zerks everywhere. Sewers? How? Hello? Damn it. We lost the signal. I can't believe it. Z is alive. He and the others are outsiders, and the other outsiders managed to go up through the sewers? The sewers are the most dangerous place in the slums. But if Z made it, the others mu then there must be a way. You'll never get past the sewers. It's infested with zerks. They'll make a quick meal out of you. Especially you, little one. Many tried their luck in the past. It doesn't end well. Anyways, I warned you. Your business is none of my business. Thanks, Seamus. There's always a guy named Seamus. <laughs> Seamus. His father, Doc, used to be a great scientist. He was working on some new weapon to fight the Zerks. Oh, that Doc? A few years ago, he went off to test the device and never came back. Amos has never been the same since.
Well, listen to Seamus. He's just scared like I was. If Doc built a weapon, that's our ticket to join the Outsiders. In his notebook, Doc mentioned a secret lab a few times. There must be where he was working on it. There might be a clues in Seamus' apartment. Come on, follow me. Now we gotta go talk. We gotta go to Seamus' apartment. It's so cute. We just get to walk with the robot. So is this Seamus' apartment? It must be, right? Oh! Come on, Seamus! Open the door! You know your father would have wanted us to help? Or wanted to help us? Uh, well, that was to be expected. This situation is pretty tough on Seamus. He doesn't want to hear about the Outsiders anymore. He won't help me, but you? I think I have an idea. What is this idea you speak of? Oh, let me guess. There's a vent right there. Well, would you look at that? Here, take Doc's notebook and show it to Seamus. Okay. It contains a lot of information that will hopefully act as an electroshock. Hopefully the secret... Find the secret lab, little outsider. I'm going back to the bar to try to reestablish communication with the others. Well, alrighty then. Alright, I think I'm going to leave it for there today, guys. We made some good progress, and I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough. If you want to check out the game for yourself, we'll have a link in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, we'll see you next Catterday for another video.